The phrase drop the ball, very simple, it just means we made a mistake. Uh, usually when we drop the ball, it's kind of a more serious mistake. The first place that I always think about dropping the ball, even though it's talking about a ball, is always at work. If someone drops the ball at work, they made kind of a big mistake, and everyone knows about it like, oh, John dropped the ball, now we have to go fix his mistakes. You really don't want to drop the ball in front of your boss, in front of your coworkers, but, you know, it's bound to happen at some point, right? You drop the ball, you make a mistake. Is there any casual way to describe when you make a mistake other than drop the ball? Other common ways of saying you drop the ball is, oh, I messed up, oh, I screwed up. Those are both perfectly fine, and we actually might even use that more. But drop the ball is kind of serious thing that you kind of messed up at a more serious place. So what if I use drop the ball in a situation that is not so heavy, but light situation, for instance, let's say I spill the coffee. Oh, I'm sorry, I dropped the ball. How does that sound to the ears of native English speakers, someone like you? Yeah, that's perfectly fine as well. Um, if you dropped your coffee, you can say, oh, I dropped the ball. It's not weird or anything, but I would say it's more suited to other situations like at work. All right. Any final word? Don't drop the ball by not studying English with us at Look Look English. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you follow, and you can keep learning English with us. All right, great sentence. I love it. <laughs> All right. Look Look English. Oh, 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 sh oh my God, I just dropped the ball. 자, 연기 좀 해봤습니다. 오늘의 표현 바로 drop the ball입니다. 제가 지금 이렇게 엎어졌잖아요. 약간 실수의 느낌이죠, 그렇죠? 이렇게 어떠한 것을 실수를 할때 사실 make a mistake라는 것도 사용할 수 있지만 drop the ball이라는 표현을 사용할 수 있습니다. 예를 들어서 우리가 제가 이제 공 공이 있잖아요, 그렇죠? 공을 공이 아니 공이 있다고 생각해 볼게요. 이게 공이 있어요. 공을 이렇게 이렇게 하다가 어, 씨, 아, I drop the ball 이렇게 말을 하면 결국 실수한 거 아닌가요? 그렇죠? 그렇게 기억하면 좀 쉽게 이해할 수 있을 것 같습니다. 이 drop the ball 대신에 그냥 make a mistake를 사용해도 전혀 문제가 없어요. 단, drop the ball 같은 경우는 보통 직장에서 자기가 어떤 일을 하다가 어떤 거를 mess up 했을 때 약간 실수를 했을 때 그때 조금 진지한 거에 좀 많이 사용되는 편이라고 합니다. 그죠? 우리가 어떠한 실수를 했을 때 사실 가장 많이 사용하는 표현들 중에 제 머릿속에 생각나는 것들이 이런 것들이 생각이 나요. mess up, I messed up. 그 다음에 I screwed up. I screwed up, screw up 이라는 표현도 생각이 나거든요. 이 mess up과 screw up 같은 경우는 우리가 영화나 미드나 그리고 실제로 일상생활에서 많이 사용하는 표현이니까 여러분들이 좀 알고 갔으면 좋겠습니다. 알겠죠? I messed up. Okay, it's all my fault. I messed up. Okay, it's all my fault. But you know what? Hey, I screwed up. I screwed up and I'm... I'm sorry. But you know what? Hey, I screwed up. I screwed up and I'm... Sorry. Have you ever dropped the ball on making a decision due to overthinking it? Have you ever dropped the ball on making a decision due to overthinking it? Have you ever dropped the ball on making a decision due to overthinking it? Have you ever dropped the ball on making a decision due to overthinking it? Have you ever dropped the ball on making a decision due to overthinking it? If he drops the ball, you're facing a murder trial. Just so you know. If he drops the ball, you're facing a murder trial. Just so you know. If he drops the ball, you're facing a murder trial. Just so you know. If he drops the ball, you're facing a murder trial. Just so you know. If he drops the ball, you're facing a murder trial. Just so you know. So, what is Drop the ball. It is a good thing. It is a good thing. 이 채널을 보지 않고 열심히 공부 안 하는 사람들 같은 경우는요 drop the ball 하는 거라고 생각을 해요 알겠죠? 자 열심히 시청해 주시고요 그리고 꼭 복습하시는 거 잊지 마세요 자 그럼 우리 다음 시간에 또 뵙도록 하겠습니다 See you guys next time Peace out Bye bye